everybody. Welcome to a new episode of Wrapping Up. I'm here with Drugs Are Bad. Say hey. What's up, everybody? Nice to see you, bro. Why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Drugs Are Bad 614. Um, uh, that's me, I guess. Um, I've been on Rap Pad for about a year now. Just doesn't say under my name because I changed my account. All right, thank you for that. And nice to see you here on Discord and not on Clean Feed or Zencast or whatever shit. Nice to see you too. All right, you ready? Of course I am. All right, so as always, how'd you get your name? Um, my name's Drugs Are Bad Six One Four, and the reason how how I got that is, um, the 614 is, um, is my birthday, June 14th. Um, and not many people know this, but I had a first account before the V2 part, um, and before the rate, the first drugs or bad account, which was called a, um, regular white dude or something like that. And I was, and that was going to be me being troll. And then I decided to delete that account and make this one. And I thought this name was funny for how many drugs I've done. But, um, and that's it. Out. Oh, and TLO, uh, I guess that's like the, the little group I'm in on Rap Pad stands for the lookout. And it means that we always look at each other's backs, you know, look f- out for each other. <laughs> I'm stuttering. <laughs> you, you good. You're doing good so far. I respect you on that. I respect your clan, too. <laughs> yeah, you're in Def 7. What does that mean? I know XTC made that one. Or, wait, did you make it? Which one made it? Um, It was Demon Fox, which is now his name is uh, Different Breed 77. Okay. Um, but B3 of 7 kind of changed my life, sort of, because that's how... Like, I discovered uh, a lot of my friends through B3F7. Yeah. I mean, now since Demon Fox is not around anymore, I was a part of the leader, and it's been kind of fun to be on to be part of D3F7. Then some uh, some people were leaving, but I'm, still, but I'm still glad I have some people in. I recently got a new member uh, on the clan. Yeah, there's, like... There's like no people in the little TLO clan anymore. Um, but it's like you're the only one. Yeah, yeah he the only one. It, but he changed his name, so I guess there's no more people except me that stuck it. But I'm still loyal. <laughs> I I stick with the lookout because I like what it stands for. I guess I don't know, but it's cool. Yeah, that's really good. I follow it though. Definitely, I like the look go. <laughs> cool. Major respect to you. Nope. So let's take it back for a sec. How to get interested in rap? Um. Well, I was really bored and laying in my bed, um, just chilling. And I was like, you know what would be different? If I tried rap. And there was, like, a bunch of people in my neighborhood doing it, saying that all their shit's fire. And I just did, I just, like, got up and then tried to freestyle uh, with my buddy there. Um, and and he goes, dude, that shit actually sounded good. And you, you're liars. That, you said that's your first time? That's a lie, dude. And, um, and I was like, no, it's true. It's my first time. And he said, dude, you should write this shit. And I said, okay, so I started looking up sites that I could post them on because I started writing them on a notepad. And, um, but I got bored of just writing them down with no one to hear them. I didn't have any, um, enough money to uh, go to a studio to make it actually sound good. So I was just rapping for fun. And then I found, I was like looking up on my computer that I stole from, from someone um because he pissed me off and you don't piss me off but i i uh just started looking up rap sites um 
um rap writer uh rap online or rap chat something like that and when i looked up rap chat it came up with rap pad and that's how i found this site you good mm -hmm. yep true story wow that's really something it's kind of really common that's, that's pretty that's kind of common to how i started because well i didn't really use a notepad use a notebook but, but yeah. that's that's pretty common to me to be to be honest that's that's kind of how i started to be dope mm -hmm. so what are your inspirations like who inspires you or what inspires you um I gotta say, um, anybody different. Um, I don't like normal people. Normal people, they live and they die. They, they get birthed into the world. They go to school. They get average grades. Uh, they get a girl in like seventh, eighth grade. They go to high school. Could go to college. Um get a boring office job that they have for four years and they retire, get pension, and they die. And it's, that's really fucking boring. And I would hate having that life. If I ever get that life, then I would hate that. Um, but, so anybody that's different, different people, they make an impact on the world. They make an impact on other people around them. So anybody different, that's, that's who inspires me. Wow, that's deep. Never heard that before. Mm -hmm. Wow, I feel you on that. That definitely, I definitely felt that. Yeah. So, in your own if opinion, what, what? I was going to say, if, if you're talking about, like, who my favorite rapper is or something like that, and I gotta say, Ski Mask is one god because he's different. He has a different flow. If you're talking about that, that's just like a different variation of the question. But if you're talking about who inspires me, then just anybody different. That's basic answer. <laughs> I got you. I like your style. Thanks. No problem. So I'm going to ask this question and. I know you have an answer for this. Mm -hmm. Um, to be honest, if you were not a rapper, then who would you be? Uh, easy. I uh want to be the boss of my own company. I want to own a marijuana dispensary. Um, and the reason why is because if you own a marijuana dispensary, you get to talk to people that live out of the ordinary that don't mind taking stuff or stuff like that unless they're taking it for medicine that's just boring but if you're if they're taking it to just be what they are they like the feeling then you get to talk to those people you get to find out what you make in common but if i wasn't a rapper i'd own a marijuana dispensary and i'm trying to own that right now but if i actually somehow make it in rapping which i doubt i will then i wouldn't be doing it for or money or fame i'd be doing it because i like it and when i stop liking it then i'll stop period and i'll i would use all the money for just using for just doing my marijuana dispensary idea wow that's amazing yeah. i feel you mm -hmm. because you know those occasional rappers that actually do do it for fame yeah like um what's his face the uh, shit, I'm trying to think of the name. I'll think of it later. I'll think of it later. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I get you. And even on Rap Pad, there's people that they only join for popularity. And I've seen it myself. Some of my followers are, to be honest, they do, they make a song and they do it just for props. Yeah. I hate the people on Rap Pad that, that, um, that go on 
on RapPad and go to your profiles and say, prop my raps, give it feedback. I mean, like in my bio, it says, don't say follow me, vote for me, or prop my raps. If I like your content, I'll follow you. If I like your diss and your battle, I'll vote for you. If I really like your raps, I'll prop them. Like, don't don't come to my wall with that shit. Like, ask me for feedback. Like, you could say, check this out. Uh, do you like it? Or or can you please give me feedback on it? And like, that's okay. But if you are like demanding, give give me five stars, give me props. That's bullshit. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. I've seen people like that. I've seen people on my wall do that. It's sometimes annoying. I don't necessarily hate it because I don't really mind giving feedback. Yeah. I mean, if you're doing it for the feedback and get it, then I guess that's okay. But, like, I if somebody goes to my wall and says, give me props or give me, um, or give me, um, five stars on this or vote for me, I would, I'd vote for the other person or give them all one stars and all that just, just to piss them off. Like, bro, you didn't do what I say. Like, whatever, dude, you're not my dad. I ain't even got a dad, so get out of here. <laughs> you ain't my mom. Wow. Yeah, I feel you on that, definitely. And I'm sure everybody and anybody else would agree with you on that. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> if not, then whatever. You got your own vibe. I understand. Whatever. Well, they do. And they've told me, and they told me, this kid keeps spamming my wall and asking me for feedback, and it makes me sick. Like, I've seen that. I've seen that, and I'm, I just agree with them, because sometimes it's annoying, and when you do it to, like, multiple walls and multiple people, it sometimes gets a little shitty. Yeah. Um, one guy did that haystack, um, and I went to his wall, and I tried to spam him, but he blocked me. So now that's, now I'm like pissed off. I'm trying to, I'm not, I don't make alt accounts to do that. Cause that's, once you're done, you're done. <laughs> if it, but I still got away with a few spams. Mm, nice. Based of your own medicine, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get you. Mm, I feel you on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, um, um, what would be your dream collaboration? Uh, my dream collaboration, um, um, my dream collaboration, definitely, uh, Sweezy producing, Ecstasy, definitely. Uh, I used to like Dream Life before he did the did the shit with his um with his girlfriend. That was fucked up. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I'd say I'd say him before he did that. Um, Ginger Slim, he's probably he's the best person on this site, I think, in my opinion. And I think those those would, oh, and Jasna and Ren. Yeah, Ren. So so that's. Tweezy producing or mixing or whatever you want to call it. Me, Ecstasy, Jasna, Ren, and Ginger Slim. Good choices. I give you applause. That's really good choices. Really good choices. Mm -hmm. I certainly agree. Mm -hmm. So, and I know this probably happened to you, but... Have you ever gone through a time where you couldn't think of anything to write and you were in a music block? Like, has that ever happened? Mm, like, when I when I couldn't think of anything to write about? Like, nothing whatsoever? Yeah. Um, never. I've never been through a point where I, where I couldn't write at all. But here's the only problem. I can only write if I'm high on drugs or like weed or acid or something like that, or if I'm on um 
or if I'm in my feelings. But I, the only blockage I have isn't writing. It's writing about stuff like, like sadness and crying. I'm, or sympathy or anything like that. I don't. I'm not sure whether it's something wrong with me. I might be like a psycho or some shit, or like a sociopath. But I don't feel sympathy for other people. And my papa has this trait. My grandpa. People think it's weird that I call him my papa because they think it's my dad. But um, my grandpa, he has the same trait. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't cry and he doesn't feel sympathy for other people. Um, and I don't know what's what's wrong with that. It's just, uh, here's person. There's this is my best theory. My best theory with that is, um, that when I was a baby, I would never stop crying. I never stopped crying. Um, I think I wasted all my tears when I was when I was a baby. And when I think like when I say that I never stopped crying, I mean never stopped crying. It's to the point where. My mom's next door neighbor um, wrote a note on her shitty sedan um, and said, "and said, whatever you are doing to that child, you need to stop, or else I'm calling CPS." And she uh, marched next door and said, "I'm not doing anything to my child. If you want to take him for a week, you can, just to approve it." And so they took me for a week, and within the first day. They gave they gave me back and and said fuck this I'm not having them <laughs> kicked me out. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, I think that's my best theory. I wasted all my tears from like one to three. That's insane. Man. But I don't feel that these are other other people, or and I can't cry. I might use that after all, you know. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. I've never seen anyone. I've never seen anyone say that ever. Like nobody's <laughs> ever said that. Yeah, not many people are open to being a psycho or sociopath. But I haven't killed anybody. I haven't thought about killing anybody. Well, I have, but. I've never actually gone through with it, and I know that it's stupid, and I think things through. Like, if I say, I don't like this person, I feel like I want to kill him, I'm not going to do it because that's stupid. People look into that kind of shit, but it's dumb. I've only overreacted once, once in my whole life, and I'm not sure whether this can go on there. It might be too violent. But that's the reason why I, why I deleted my first Drugs Are Bad account and put V2 on this one. Mm, I follow you. So, I got you. So I'm not. So it depends. If there's if there's censorship on this, if you want me to keep it clean, uh, besides cursing, then I understand that. If you would like me to share it, I would happily do that. So it's your choice. I don't care. It's fine. Just not go too far with it, but you can curse, it's fine. Okay, wait, so I didn't hear that first part of that. Did you say, did you say do share, but don't go too far violence, or did you say don't do it, but you can curse? Like, it's okay to curse, just don't take it too far. So should I share my experiment, my experience on why I deleted my first account, or no? You can, it, it just can't be too violent. Okay, well, well, it involves a death threat and two in a little violent, so maybe that's for another time. Whether I can see if I'm yeah. fast or not. <laughs> yeah, pro- probably right. not death threats. Or when people are gonna watch, they're gonna think you're you're sending them a death threat. So maybe not. Okay, I won't then. I my god. My god. Um all right. Um so do you listen to any albums? What's your favorite? Uh on rap pad, uh from a certain rapper or 
Uh, any artist in general. You can do either or. It doesn't matter to me. Um, favorite favorite album in general. Um, I'd have to say Forty Ounces to Freedom" by Sublime. Um, my favorite album from a rapper. I'd have to say, um. Mm, I don't know. I don't, I can't think of one from a. Oh, the Question Mark album by XXX. That was a good one. Um, the shit with Never in it. That was a good one. Um, the and I, for on Rap Pad, the Renz album with with uh with the butterfly on the gun, whatever that one's called. Uh. Opium. That's what it's called. Opium. His album, Opium. That shit was dope. Uh, nice. I never heard that yeah. album. I, I'm just gonna see it later. Well, the only, I don't know how Ren does it because he releases like 10 songs a day. So I don't know how he gets uh, feedback credits for all of them. I, I just imagine him just all day, every day, just give me feedback, give me feedback, give me feedback, like, or not like, not like good feedback, but like feedback, just giving feedback every day, every day, just typing at his desk away so he could release his 10 songs and get feedback on them. Yeah, I get that. He does that, mm-hmm. he does that, like 10 songs every day. Dope. Crazy. Love that shit. That's insane. Yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> I, um, I, like, uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Like, it's weird how he, how he does that. Yeah, I agree. I've been talking to him more lately because he's going to be in my next collab. Yeah. Oh, by the way, thanks for inviting me on on this podcast. This this is dope. I like this. It's better than the than the writing one during messages that I did with Rap Pad Talk Show. That was um that wasn't that good because this is like a conversation. It's like you could actually talk to each other. Just what's up? What's up? I got a question for yeah. you. Okay, I'll mm-hmm. answer it. But with the writing, it's like, how do you feel? G O O D, like it, that's not. I don't like that. Just talk for God's sake. He's like, I like this shit. This is dope. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's been a pleasure getting to know you too, and even to getting you on Discord. It took a while. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Or sorry, I shouldn't say that because there's probably some Christians. Um. Uh, shoot. I'm trying to find a substitute. Oh my god. <laughs> it was crazy. Like we did clean feet and then Wednesday the recording and then yesterday my mic was lagging off and then I was like, we have to fix this. This is shit. I don't want to be doing this. And I just had to had to, I had to fix you on this. Yeah, bro, like uh like a month ago you hit me up saying saying, Hey, let's do an interview and I was like, How does it work on Discord? Uh, I typed in Discord, and I entered the uh, fucking site on the search board, and when I typed it in, it said that I needed to download the app to use it, but I didn't want to download the app, so, like, whatever. <laughs> We're on here now. That was insane. And I yeah. swear, the fucking, the fucking Lady Satan, she's looking at me. She's trying to embarrass me with you, trying to make it so I look like a liar. I didn't say that, because as soon as I share my screen and I type it in, Bam, it works. It's because it she's there, she's watching me. I swear to God. She's on there. She's watching her. That's <laughs> insane. Like All right. So it we are just about to be winding. I didn't hey. hear that last part. I didn't um, hear that last we're... part. What did you say? are about winding down and you know what time it is. 
Oh, and it's a wrapping palm. Okay. Yep, wrap it out. Would you like me to do a freestyle or would you like me to do uh, my first recorded song but without like a beat because I can't do a beat right now? Your so, choice. Which one? Your choice, Bob. Um, can I do both? That would be dope. Can I do both or not? Or do we not have enough time? Uh, not at the moment. Okay, well, I'll do a freestyle because I want to prove to people that um that I could actually freestyle. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Let's get it. Okay. Hello, Musically. How are you? You're going to be better after this freestyle hits you sweet. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I fucked up. There's not many words that rhyme with tooth, bro. Okay, I'll get it back on. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, Musically? Thank you for interviewing me. These bars I speak are flowing out of me as I think. God, these lines are hard to think of. And help me, please. Thank you. My brain's not weak. It's not an open book that you can easily read. I don't like the fine print on the Amazon box. <laughs> You're not sure what it is, but you go with it and flow with it because the bars that you like when Germany killed all the Poland kids. God, that was fucked up. It was the only time I could think of. Yeah, I made it back on track. I, once I get distracted, I usually can't handle that. I'm pretty sure I got ADD, OCD, ADHD, or any other fucking mental disease. All the odd tumor in my brain that's killing me, but clearly stealing my rap energy. Bitch, try me, please. I can't stop. Musically, tell me when you want me to stop. Because I won't stop until someone tells me to. I won't let my bars stop. I won't let my bars drop. I won't let my bars get chopped. I will never be stopped. Unless it's by Musical.ly. <laughs> God, I need a cough drop. Oh, oh my freaking Holy God. Shit. That was so... Holy that shit. Was, Never mind. Was I guess something can stop me. It's a fucking cough. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way to leave off, though. I need a cough drop. That's yeah. fucking right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was really good. Wait, what was it? Oh what was God. it? No, I will never be stopped. God, I need a cough drop after I coughed. Holy shit. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that, was, that was really good. I guess something can stop me. It's a fucking cough. Yeah. <laughs> my God. Oh, my I'm running out of breath, bro. I'm passing out. <laughs> you did the same thing the to me. <laughs> I can see the light. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit okay got it i just gotta breathe oh my god oh my god you god just, damn you just really made me you just made me laugh oh my god oh, shit <laughs> god, gotta breathe. okay okay I'm, um, I'm done fuck my throat's destroyed holy shit <laughs> that was crazy oh damn. my god <laughs> All right, thanks. Holy shit. <laughs> of course. Okay. So, we done well, with it? <laughs> yeah, we're about reaching the end. Is there anything, you, anything else you want to say before uh, I am, uh, before I end the show? Anything else? Uh, I'd like to say everybody follow Musical.ly. He's dope. He's good for interviewing me. I could actually freestyle. And... That's it. I live in Cali. Uh, hometown. Peace out. Or home Thank state, you. I should say. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure to follow me and Drugs Are Bad. I love y'all. See y'all very soon. See ya.